Good day everyone and welcome to another edition of In Case You Missed It. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to this channel. Nigeria Football Federation NFF set to appoint a new foreign coach after a successful meeting in London together with the Minister of Sports. Victor Osimi has finally apologized to Fenidi George after blasting and abusing him on Instagram Live for accusing him of faking injury. NFF has made a huge offer to Ave Renard to become the new coach of the Super Eagles. The offer was slightly better than Egypt for the Frenchman. Ose Pesero is expected to return as Super Eagles head coach after rejecting other job offers as NFF plans to reappoint him. Ave Renard might reject NFF's huge offer. This might be better than Egypt as the USA and Saudi club have started negotiating with him. Hello everyone and welcome to Sport Talks with Barney. Please subscribe for more updates. The much anticipated announcement of the new coach of the Super Eagles is expected to come soon. Following the successful visit of Sport Minister and the President of Nigeria Football Federation NFF to England, the visit has reportedly produced positive results, paving the way for the appointment of a new head coach of the Super Eagles, according to reliable reports. According to a source in NFF, he said, it is already known that the NFF president and the sport minister were in London this past week in connection with this appointment, he continued. The visit to London was very productive. The NFF boss and the minister had in their discussion with several potential candidates. The feedback was positive and we are confident that you have found the right person to take the Super Eagles forward. The announcement of a new coach for the Super Eagles is not imminent, he concluded. During the visit, the Minister of Sports, John Ennon, and the NFF President, Ibrahim Kusau, engaged in high-level discussions with several potential candidates. Some of the candidates interviewed virtually with NFF Technical Committee Vice Chairman, Felix Anyansi Agu, NFF Technical Director, Austin Eguavon, as well as the NFF General Secretary, understood to also be in attendance. The goal was to find a suitable as experienced coach to lead the Super Eagles to a new height. According to sources within the NFF, the discussion were fruitful and the consensus has been reached on the preferred candidates. The identity of the new coach is being kept secret until all contract details are finalized and formal announcements can be made. However, at least two of the coaches interviewed have a good track record working in African football. With the positive outcome from the England visit, the Federation is set to announce the new coach in the coming days. It's source close to the NFF disclosed. Ongo Nigeria reviewed the new coach, presented his plans to fix the team's defense, and his intention to build the defense around Rangers defender Leon Balogo because he wanted the team to play from the back, which impressed the NFF president and the sports minister as they were blown away with that presentation. This development comes at a critical time for Nigeria football as the Super Eagles prepare for the upcoming 2025 African Cup of Nations qualifiers and the resumption of the 2026 FIFA World Cup qualifying series. Last month, the NFF announced they were appointing foreign coach for the Super Eagles after the country's hope for qualifying for the 2026 FIFA World Cup took a huge blow after a 1-1 home draw with South Africa and an away loss to Benin, so them dropped to fifth position on the table. NFF said the new coach will be in place before the 2025 AFCON qualifiers begin in September. Nigeria are drawn with 2026 World Cup qualifying rivals Rwanda Abene as well as Libya in D of the 2025 AFCON qualifying tournament. Former Super Eagles midfielder John Oko has defended Victor Simen after his explosive Instagram live rant against former head coach Coach Fenidi George. The Napoli striker made headlines after unleashing a 10 minute Instagram live rant, throwing insults, and accusing a legendary winger of disrespecting him. The drama unfolded after Fenidi's shock resignation as Super Eagles coach after two matches in charge, following alleged reports that the former Imba coach stated that he wouldn't beg Osime to play for Nigeria. Osime reacted to the news, which eventually turned out to be fake, that the former national team manager claimed he could not beg any player to play for the country. The striker has missed the two international windows following the conclusion of the 2023 Africa Cup of Nations, in which Nigeria finished runner-up in Ivory Coast. Maccabi Yafa Mifida, Ogo, speaking on the Fast Strike podcast, has expressed his support for Osime. He admitted that he is very respectful lad and act on the spot of the moment. John Ogu, who represented Nigeria at the 2018 FIFA World Cup, described Osime as a good boy and a respectful individual, even from his under 17 days. He said, I know Osime, even in his under 17 days, I know the boy as a good boy, a boy that is respectful, regardless of who you are. He continued, At that moment, when someone accuses you of something, you may lose control. Some people need to speak what is on their mind or they can't sleep. It did that. This insight paints a more human picture of the striker, suggesting that his outburst may have been another stable reaction to being accused of faking an injury or refusing to play for the national team. Ogu emphasized, highlighting Osime's competitive spirit and dedication to the Super Eagles, he said, Osime to say he won't play for Nigeria or fake injury, it's not possible, he is a fighter, he wants to win, I know him for that one. 
Has he apologized? I'm sure he has. He added. Ogu won 26 caps for the Super Eagles, a last play for the country at the 2019 AFCON in Cameroon, where they finished third. The former midfielder also revealed that he had reached out to Osime, advising him to relax amid the heated exchange with Finidi. According to Ogu Nigeria, the NFF moved to find and ban the under 17 FIFA World Cup winner, but Sport Minister John Eno stopped this move. The NFL is searching for a new manager after the departure of the ex international, who has now joined the Nigeria Professional Football League MPFL club, Rivers United. Nigeria sought for a replacement for former Super Eagles coach, Finidi George, is set to intensify as the high move for former Zambia and Ivory Coast manager, Ave Renard. We could have the third time AFCON champion, Nigeria, is without a head coach for the Super Eagles following the resignation of Finidi George after a string of poor results in the 2026 FIFA World Cup qualifiers. Nigeria Football Federation NFF have been linked with a move to pen a deal with former head coach of the Saudi Arabian national team, Ave Renard. Before Finidi's exit as Super Eagles head coach, the NFF had reportedly made it known that they would be looking for a foreign technical advisor to oversee the national team, and Renard was one of the names listed as potential choices. According to reports, the Frenchman had been offered a 2 million euros per year salary by Nigeria and Egypt football bodies. Foot Makato reported Nigeria had stepped up their effort to get Renard after sending an offer to the French coach, but we face a competition from record Afghan winners, Egypt who also see the former Saudi Arabia coach as a potential replacement for Rio Victoria, who was sacked after he disappointed 2023 AFCON in Ivory Coast. Renard is currently the manager of France women's national team, but is set to step down from the road after the 2024 Olympic Games in Paris, where they are favorites. He has said he wished to take up a new challenge, and Super Eagles' job is a perfect challenge for him. The Super Eagles' coaching role has been vacant since former Ajax star Finidi George resigned from his role after less than two months in charge of the team, and the NFF are promised to have a new coach in place before the commencement of the AFCON qualifiers in September. The Super Eagles are drawing good D alongside Benin Republic, Rwanda, and Libya. Earlier reports circulating Nigeria media outlet linked the NFL with Ave Renard, the former head coach of Zambia national team. Despite previous denial, recent reports indicate that the NFL is now actively pursuing Ave Renard, who previously managed Saudi Arabia in their bid to secure a 2026 FIFA World Cup ticket. This new development comes amid financial concerns voiced by Nigeria football fans regarding the potential hire. BBC sports journalist Oluwashino Okeleji had earlier debunked the report, cites NFF official, who confirmed that there have been no discussion with Renard to replace George. He wrote on his ex handle Nigeria FA denies Ave Renard named. The report is inaccurate. We have not contacted Renard or his rep, the official told BBC Africa. However, the latest information suggests that the NFF have not made contact with Renard, signaling a potential shift from home base coach to employ a foreign base coach despite budgetary concerns. Hello everyone and welcome to Sport Talks with Barney. Please subscribe for more updates. The Nigeria Football Federation NFF is reportedly considering reappointing former Super Eagles coach Jose Pesero as they continue their search for a new head coach. The 64-year-old took over as a coach of the Nigeria Senior National Team in October 2022 after the Super Eagles failed to qualify for the 2022 FIFA World Cup in Qatar. Pesero led the national team to a second place finish in the 2023 African Cup of Nations in Ivory Coast. The Super Eagles lost the final of the competition to the host. He parted ways with the NFF in February 2024 after the end of his contract. Negotiations for a new contract fell through due to wage disputes. Benedict George took charge on an interim basis in March, leading the three time AFCON champions to victory against Ghana and a loss to Mali. The former Ajax winger was appointed permanently in May after a poor outing during Nigeria's June FIFA World Cup qualifiers, where the Super Eagles lost away to Benin and a home draw with South Africa. Finidi George penned his resignation letter, leaving the coaching position vacant. Finidi George didn't spend more than two months on the job before he resigned. The former Imbo Verba coach decided to walk away from the job after the NFF announced their plans to appoint a foreign technical advisor whom he will work under. In over 30 weeks, the coaching seat of the Super Eagles will remain vacant ahead of the commencement of the 2025 AFCON qualifiers in September 2024. Gerard Baloyi, an agent with South African Vodia Sports International Management, stated in a recent interview with Kickoff that there is interest from Nigeria national team in securing Pesero's service for a second time. Pesero, who has been without a job since he left the Super Eagles, is reportedly discussing his return to the job according to Vodia Sports International Management agent Gerard Baloyi. Baloyi took Kickoff, yes, Vodia Sports International Management offered Jose Pesero to Sundance, though the Nigerian national teams are interested in bringing him to take over again. Pesero led the Super Eagles to 1 1 draws against Lesotho and Zimbabwe on March Day 1 and March Day 2 of the 2026 FIFA World Cup qualifiers in November 2023. The Eagles currently occupy fifth place in Group C on three points after four games.
the NFL are looking to appoint a coach for the Super Eagles ahead of the AFCON qualifying game, which kick off in September. The Super Eagles are drawn with 2026 World Cup qualifying rivals, Rwanda and Bene, as well as Libya in Group D of the 2025 AFCON qualifying tournament. During his time with the Super Eagles, the Portuguese manager oversaw 22 games, winning 10 of them, drawing 5 and enduring several defeats. Hello everyone and welcome to Sport Talks with Barney. Please subscribe for more updates. Nigeria Football Federation NFF faces a difficult task in convincing Abel Renard to be the next head coach of the Super Eagles. The Super Eagles have been without a head coach since Finidi George resigned from his role in John, following disappointing results against South Africa and the Benin Republic in the 2026 FIFA World Cup qualifiers. It is believed that the NFF aimed to appoint a foreign technical advisor for the Super Eagles to work alongside a year to be named indigenous coach. Recent reports suggest that the football body has contacted two time African winning coach, Abel Renard, for the job. The Super Eagles managerial position became vacant after ex-international Finidi George resigned after leading the team to two disappointing games as permanent boss. Finidi reportedly resigned after the NFF proposed having a technical advisor after the country's 2-1 loss to Benin Republic, which put his qualification to the 2026 World Cup in doubt. Renard is currently the head coach of the France women's national team, but he has already made clear his intention to vacate the position after the Paris Olympic Games this summer. According to Foot Mercato, NFF offered 2 million euros to Renard, who is currently in charge of the French women's team, outbidding Egypt, which offered slightly lower salary. Nigeria, however, is not the only team interested in appointing Renard after his French adventure. According to Nigeria sports journalist Connie Udo, the United States and Cup of Saudi Arabian clubs are also in negotiation with Renard. He wrote on his ex-handle. U.S. soccer is in talks with Ever Renard about coaching United States men's national team. Renard is set to want a lucrative contract as he also has offers from Saudi Arabian clubs. His contract with the France women's team ends in August. With these two in the picture, he may be out of Nigeria's price range. Renard is one of those managers who could take charge of the United States men's national team. Following the dismissal of Craig Behata, Behata led the United States team to an early exit at the 2024 Copa America. Other coach in denial of sight of the United States include former Liverpool boss Georgian Club and former El Salvador coach Hugo Perez. However, according to Sporting News, both of these tacticians have declined the job. The United States, because of these rejections, will go all out for Renard, which could see them beat Nigeria to the race for the French mass signature. Following successful spells, and in Saudi Arabia, Zambia, Côte d'Ivoire, and Morocco, Renard has made name for himself as an international boss. The 55-year-old manager is the first coach to wave two African Cup of Nations with different teams. He has been at the last two editions of the World Cup with Morocco in 2018 and Saudi Arabia in 2022.